everybody, welcome to this month's art journal vlog. It's April, so um, I did four pieces this month and uh, I'm about to show you what they are about. The first one says inspiration overload and you can see this girl here with the sparks coming out of her head. And what happened to me that week was that I had so many creative um, projects and ideas for even more projects that I felt my brain had kind of an overload, which was, um, well, not really typical for me. In spring, I'm usually not th that creative, so um, on the first week, in April I really had to deal with this surprise inspiration overload and taking all the notes and doing all the sketches for all the ideas that I had to not forget them over the next couple of months while I can work on those several ideas. Um, the design here for the page is rather simple. It's acrylics, white and blue that um, I just used for the background. This girl here is painted with um, normal colored pencils and markers on, uh, I think it's a 100 gram paper or 150, I'm not sure, uh, just on the paper and um, Having it, the, the girl done with the colored pencils and those sparks done with Copic markers and permanent markers. Um, that's pretty much all I did. There is a teensy tiny bit of golden um, ink from my stamp sets, like kind of here and there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Maybe, maybe down here you can um, see it. And of course for the shadow I used the black ink of my stamp pad. So that was the first week. The second week, which you will see here, is kind of similar from the theme but the total opposite. So the week after, my head was totally empty. I was not creative, I couldn't be inspired by anything, so everything in my brain, which is um, represented by these cogwheels over here, was just not working. Everything was on a standstill, and I don't know why, nothing really changed. Um, in, in my life there was no experience or something that could have triggered that, and still... I was lacking any kind of inspiration. So I did kind of like the same girl, um, but she is not colored. There's just the permanent markers and a little bit of shadow with uh, her normal pencil. And have this image here that I printed um, be kind of like a look into her brain where the cogwheels um, are standing still. The background is done with the same white and blue uh, as the page before and I just used black ink down here and over here from my stamp set uh, to do kind of a shadow thing. I wanted this piece to be um, minimal with uh, details because it, it, if it's just kind of like the overly rough sketch. It feels like it transports the idea of not being inspired more than if I had a detailed uh, piece of that girl over here. So the week after was kind of like the resolution of that. Um, down here it says that my hands are my greatest tools because this part here represents the still fuzzy thing feeling that went on in my head and this hand here of mine is the clear part. So what I found is 
that even if my head is messy and my brain is either overloaded or not inspired at all, my hands can take something and produce art with it. So, the, and that's, this is what I think is my greatest tool, that I can always work on some art project and do something no matter what my, well, let's say, state of mind is. So, uh, this totally unreadable, messy part of the, the piece, like the, the right part of it, is on purpose and the rather clean, sketchy left side is also on purpose. Also the color shading with the blue and black down here and a rather huge part of only the light green here is on purpose to transport the theme and my thoughts on this week. Um, for material, I also only used uh, acrylics for the background and uh, permanent markers and Copic markers for uh, the right side for the um, for the uh, sentiment and this flower thingy up here. For the hand, I did use pencils and markers, permanent markers and Copic markers. The last week was totally different. Um, this, I, I don't know if you can see it on video, but part of these planets are actually clocks. And what I do when, or what I like to do when I work on art stuff is either listen to an audiobook or podcasts. And uh, the last weeks I, well, actually more than a couple of months now, I think like the, the last two months, I listened to a new podcast, which I very, very much like, and it's called Raumzeit. That's why there's only this one word here, that's Raumzeit, uh, meaning uh, space-time. And the podcast is, uh, one episode is like one and a half or two hours long, and it's all about space. So the guy that does the podcasts invites people from ESA or NASA or any other um, university or other companies that work for the space programs and they talk about stuff in space. So how do asteroids work? What is the difference between uh, an asteroid and, uh, I don't know, something something else? Um, how do how did planets in our solar system evolve? How did they how did um the sun work um and other stuff like um who uh, there was a podcast about the first German person in space and another one about the space shuttle and another one about uh, Mars and Venus and it's totally interesting so I love to listen to that while I do some art stuff and that's why I thought well let's uh, have an art journal page about that because it it also influences me and what I how I do or in what state of mind I'm in while I do art so for this one, I did only color the uh, background black with acrylics and I cut out all the circles that I colored with uh, ink from my stamp set and had on some of them added um, uh, different types of numbers for the clocks. So, and this little tiny <laughs> spaceship down here, I did uh, paint that with Copic markers and permanent markers, as well as those teensy tiny white dots in the background. They're also done with permanent markers. So, I did glue down all of the planets, like on directly onto the page, but this little guy here, 
that has uh, foam squares in the background so it stands out a bit. I don't know if you can see that. So this is a very clean design um, just because uh, I liked the podcast that I'm currently listening to while I do any art stuff. So this was the last piece for this month. It was only just four weeks. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'm really curious about how the next month will go um, and uh, what I will come up with for my art journal stuff. And uh, please let me know if you'd like to see a video on how one of those pages like comes together if you want to see the process of one or if you just want to see like the flip throughs and uh, the kind of exp me explaining what was going on like in that video that you're currently watching so please let me know so I hope you enjoyed it I'm gonna see you in a couple of days with another art project video and another vlog otherwise thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I'm going to see you in a couple of days. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.